Want to speak real Polish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at polishpod101.com. Top 10 phrases your parents always say. So here we go. Bądź ostrożny. Be careful. Bądź ostrożny. Be careful. Bądź ostrożny, or actually if you're a girl, your mom or dad will say, bądź ostrożna. So, bądź ostrożny, bądź ostrożna, be careful. And, oh, actually my mom didn't say that a lot. <laughs> um, my mom usually just let me do whatever I want. So, I was very, it was very crazy because I was like maybe 14, 15 and I was traveling around Poland by myself, which looking from the perspective right now, I don't think I would let my kid do that. Uh, but yeah, but a lot of parents do say that, and this is definitely something to remember, especially if you're in Poland or you've got Polish kids, or maybe you will have Polish wife or Polish husband. So, bądź ostrożny, bądź ostrożna. Bądź cicho, be quiet. Bądź cicho, be quiet. Well, that's not a nice one to say. Come on, kid, want to say something? Uh, I don't remember my mom ever saying that. I guess, well, I was a very good kid and I behaved, kind of. Uh, but I don't know, like probably a lot of parents will say it, but not in my house. Uh, I never, I never hear that. Like it's like I, I wanted to say something. I wanted to express myself. Why should I just stay quiet and do nothing? Zachowuj się. Behave. Zachowuj się. Behave. Have you ever heard this one from your parents? Yeah, when you go out with your kid and the kid is just misbehaving and you are on the train and the kid starts like crying and saying like, I want this, I want that, I'm not going there. Then that's the correct one to use. Zachowuj się. Zachowuj się. Odrób swoje zadanie domowe. Do your homework. Odrób swoje zadanie domowe. Do your homework. Well, that's the one that I never ever heard from my mom. Uh, actually, it was the other way around. It was mom, do my homework. I, I always thought that, um, well, I, I was doing my homework when I thought that it's worth doing. But when there was something that was too easy, like usually math homework was just too easy for me. So my mom only checked if I understood it more or less, and then she was doing it for me because I was like, I'm not doing that, it's too easy, it's... Nah, nah, nah. Marsz do łóżka. Go to bed. Marsz do łóżka. Go to bed. Well, I guess my mom was very specific because <laughs> I never heard that one as well. Um, I just went to bed whenever I wanted to, and... I woke up whenever I wanted to. When I was younger, I was just going to bed relatively early and then I tried to woke up very, very early to be the first one in the kindergarten because I just wanted to be the first one. And when I was older, I even once switched my schedule for, for my high school and I just, I was just doing a different circle. So I came back from high school, I went to sleep, I woke up at midnight and then I was doing homework or, or studying or whatever. I went to high school and then back and then something like that. So I was like on the night schedule. My mom didn't really care. Like nobody didn't really care, but I think it was good for me. I could decide by myself. I hope so. <laughs> Liczę do trzech. I'm going to count to three. Liczę do trzech. I'm going to count to three. This is something very specific, so I, I think not all the parents say that. I, I hope so, I don't know, like I've never heard it, well, at my home and not from my friends or anybody around, so maybe we don't really say that in Poland. I'm not a mom myself, so I wouldn't know, but um, I never, never, ever heard it anywhere around or in the movies or anything like that. Uh, so maybe it's more like English specific, uh, I don't know. Przestań. Stop. Przestań. Stop. Guess like if you are misbehaving in the one of those would be one of the things you can say to a kid like that who is misbehaving is of course zachowuj się. Do you remember that one? Zachowuj się. 
But another one, even more general one, would be przestań. Przestań. It may be not the easiest one to pronounce, but it's good because you can use it to a guy and you can use it to a girl and you can use it to kid, but you can use it to anybody else as well. So if you remember this one short, maybe difficult to pronounce word, it will be very, very, very convenient and you can use it to anything you want. Przestań. Przestań. Co powiedziałeś? What did you say? Co powiedziałeś? What did you say? If your kid is a boy or a male teenager, you would say Co powiedziałeś? If it's a girl. Co powiedziałaś? Co powiedziałeś? Co powiedziałaś? What did you say? Yeah, I guess I, I've heard this one from my mom a few times. Nie żartuję. I'm not kidding. Nie żartuję. I'm not kidding. And then usually she or, or your dad will just say something like, I will take your laptop away or you will have no internet for a, a week or month or whatever. When I was young, there was nothing like no internet because there was no internet. <laughs> so I guess I was lucky to some extent. It was like more like you are not going outside for a week or you are not... I don't think I got that, but but you could get that potentially. Um, like you're not going outside for a week or, or stay in your room or something like that. Right now it's like no internet, no games, no mm, computer or, or stuff like, and it's like you have to go out and don't stay at home. So it's all the other way around, I guess. Wyłącz ten telewizor natychmiast. Turn the TV off now. Wyłącz ten telewizor natychmiast. Turn the TV off now. Yeah, so this one I didn't hear, but that may be because this small tiny detail that I usually used to go to the room with TV, the big room with TV, and close the door, <laughs> lock the door <laughs> so nobody can in, get in, and just watch whatever I wanted. I sometimes I even slept there, whatever. Uh, so even if my mom wanted to say something, she kind of couldn't. <laughs> so I guess I took care of that part. Anti travel phrases you should know. So here we go. Czy mógłbym dostać mapę? Could I get a map? So imagine uh, you are in a new place and you go to the information center and you want a map. So uh, you will ask, can I get a map? And in Polish you will ask, Czy mógłbym dostać mapę? Czy mógłbym dostać mapę? Czy mógłbym dostać mapę? Could I get a map? Or if you are a girl, you will ask, Czy mogłabym dostać mapę? Czy mogłabym dostać mapę? Again, could I get a map? Czy mógłbym dostać mapę? Czy mogłabym dostać mapę? Czy mówisz po angielsku? Do you speak English? Now you're wandering around and you want to ask for the way and you see somebody um, and you want to ask them if they speak English. So you want to ask, do you speak English? Do you speak English? In Polish you would say, czy mówisz po angielsku? Czy mówisz po angielsku? And I guess this is the easiest way to say that, but not the nicest way, because actually mówisz, so do you, you speak English? Uh, it's something you will use for with your friends, with somebody close to you, and for a person for a person you don't know, it's better to say sir or ma'am. So in Polish you will say if it's a guy, czy mówi pan po angielsku? Czy mówi pan po angielsku? And if it's a girl, czy mówi pani po angielsku? Czy mówi pani po angielsku? Czy mówi pan po angielsku? Czy mówi pani po angielsku? But if you want to do it the easy way, nobody will get angry at you. They will know that you are not so good at Polish, that you are still trying to figure stuff out. And you can easily say, Czy mówisz po angielsku? Czy mówisz po angielsku? Czy jest autobus z lotniska do miasta? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Now, imagine you just arrived and you're at the airport and you want to ask around how to get to the city center. 
you're looking for a bus and you want to ask is there a bus from the airport to the city center you can just uh, say czy jest autobus z lotniska do miasta czy jest autobus z lotniska do miasta is there a bus from the airport to the city is there a bus from the airport to the city and i can tell you in warsaw yes there is <laughs> there is also a very convenient train by the way czy wifi jest darmowe is the Wi-Fi free? When you are traveling, you usually want to connect to the internet. And you are looking for Wi-Fi, and you are looking for a free Wi-Fi, and you want to ask if the Wi-Fi is free. You can ask in Polish, czy Wi-Fi jest darmowe? Czy Wi-Fi jest darmowe? Is the Wi-Fi free? Czy Wi-Fi jest darmowe? Actually, if you go and ask, czy Wi-Fi jest darmowe, people will not understand you. So you have to change the Wi-Fi pronunciation. Even though the word is the same, the spelling is the same, you have to change Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. So if you're looking for a free Wi-Fi, remember you can ask, is the Wi-Fi free? Czy Wi-Fi jest darmowe? Um, by the way, you will find it very easily everywhere, almost everywhere the, the, you will have uh, free Wi-Fi. You are walking the street, uh, in the city center, in almost, I think every coffee shop, actually, not almost every, but every coffee shop, every hotel, uh, basically everywhere. Czy mają państwo wolne pokoje na dzisiaj? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Now, imagine you are looking for an accommodation and you see a hotel, you walk in, and you want to ask, do you have any vacancies tonight? Do you have any vacancies tonight? In Polish, you would say, czy mają państwo wolne pokoje na dzisiaj? Do you have vacancies tonight? Czy mają państwo wolne pokoje na dzisiaj? Which means wolne pokoje. Wolne pokoje. If you want to translate it literally, it means free rooms. Not for free, but free as a, you know, uh, nobody there. But um, this is what we say in Polish uh, for vacancies. Czy mają państwo wolne pokoje na dzisiaj? Czy mają państwo wolne pokoje na dzisiaj? Do you have vacancies tonight? Czy mógłbym się przenieść do innego pokoju? Could I move to a different room? Now imagine you are already in your room and then something is broken, something is not working and you want to ask if you can move to another room. What you would say in Polish is Czy mógłbym się przenieść do innego pokoju? Czy mógłbym się przenieść do innego pokoju? Could I move to a different room? But that's if you are a guy, czy mógłbym. If you are a girl, you would say, czy mogłabym. Czy mógłbym, czy mogłabym. Czy mógłbym się przenieść do innego pokoju? Czy mogłabym się przenieść do innego pokoju? Could I move to a different room? Mam rezerwację. I have a reservation. Now, if you're one of those lucky persons who actually booked everything and then you just arrive and you have everything uh, organized, uh, you arrive at the hotel and you want to say, I have a reservation. Uh, in Polish, you would say, Mam rezerwację. Mam rezerwację. I have a reservation. Mam rezerwację. Or, for example, you can add for today. Mam rezerwację na dzisiaj. Or if you are calling them and you want to say, oh, I have a reservation for tomorrow, but I will arrive late or something like that, you can say, mam rezerwację na jutro. Mam rezerwację na jutro. Uh, or if you want to say, I have a reservation for uh, September 15th, you can say, mam rezerwację na 15 września. So there is this uh, preposition na. Mam rezerwację na, and then the date comes. It can be a date or a day, like jutro, tomorrow. Czy moglibyśmy prosić o menu? Could we have the menu, please? And imagine you enter a restaurant. Um, depends on the country. Sometimes you have to ask for things. Sometimes the waiter or waitress will just bring everything to you. Um, in Poland, I think, uh, in a lot of places, you will wait long, long, long time before they bring everything, so it's better to ask. And, for example, if you want to have the menu and you want to say, could we have the menu, please? In Polish, you will say, czy moglibyśmy prosić o menu? 
Czy moglibyśmy prosić o menu? Um, there is a Polish word for menu, which uh, you will say, well, in Polish, uh, karta dań. Karta, karta dań. Karta dań. But we don't use it very often. So usually just menu is okay. Czy moglibyśmy prosić o menu? Ma pan jakieś rekomendacje? Do you have any recommendations? Now, imagine you are staying at a hotel and you want to walk around, you want to see new places, uh, but you don't really know where to go and you want to ask for the recommendation. What you would say to a guy is Ma pan jakieś rekomendacje? Ma pan jakieś rekomendacje? And to a girl, you would say Ma pani jakieś rekomendacje? Ma pani jakieś rekomendacje? Do you have any recommendations? It can be either about sightseeing or, or when you are when you already have this menu and you are ordering something and you don't know what Polish food is like and which is good, which is bad, which is the, the most traditional one. You just ask the waiter or waitress. Czy ma pan jakieś rekomendacje? Czy ma pani jakieś rekomendacje? Do you have any recommendations? Czy mogę prosić o rachunek? Could I have the check, please? No, when you finish and you want to get the bill and just go, and you want to ask, could I have the check, please? In Polish, you would say, czy mogę prosić o rachunek? Czy mogę prosić o rachunek? Could I have the check, please? Could I have the check, please? Czy mogę prosić o rachunek? Czy mogę prosić o rachunek? Where rach rachunek, rachunek means bill or check. Czy mogę prosić o rachunek? Jestem uczulony na orzeszki ziemne. I'm allergic to peanuts. Now, when you have some allergies, it's very important to tell your waiter or waitress uh, that you have them because sometimes they can prepare um, dish that can actually be very dangerous for you. So if you want to say I'm allergic to peanuts, you will say Jestem uczulony na orzeszki ziemne. Jestem uczulony na orzeszki ziemne. And if you have any other allergies, you will just say Jestem uczulony na and then add the allergy. So Jestem uczulony na orzeszki ziemne is one of the examples. Uh, now, if you are a girl, you will change it a little bit. You will say, instead of uczulony, you will say uczulona. So, instead of saying, jestem uczulony na orzeszki ziemne, you will say, jestem uczulona na orzeszki ziemne. Poproszę wodę. Water, please. In many countries, uh, in restaurant, water is for free. In Poland, actually, it's not for free, but you can order it, of course. And uh, when you want to say water, please, in Polish you would say poproszę wodę, water, please, poproszę wodę. Which, remember, you will be charged for it. Ile to kosztuje? How much is this? It's never good to buy something if you don't know the price. And uh, same goes for Poland, especially if you go and buy something in a bazaar, they can cheat you, they can charge you extra, so it's always better to ask first. And uh, to do so, you just say, ile to kosztuje? Ile to kosztuje? How much is this? How much is this? Ile to kosztuje? Wezmę to. I would like this. Now, um, even if you don't know the Polish name, you can always uh, point at something and say, I would like this. Now, how to say it in Polish? In Polish, you would say Wezmę to. I would like this. Wezmę to. Just simply point at the thing and say Wezmę to. I would like this. Wezmę to. Which literally means I will take this. Wezmę to. Czy dostanę zniżkę? Could you give me a discount? It is not so uncommon, not so unheard of to, to just bargain especially when you are buying on the street, um, at bazaar, uh, in a big shop, not so much. Uh, but you can always try to ask for a discount if you are buying a bigger amount. So if you want to ask, could you give me a discount? In Polish you would say, czy dostanę zniżkę? 
Czy dostanę zniżkę? Could you give me a discount? Czy dostanę zniżkę? Czy akceptują Państwo karty kredytowe? Do you take credit cards? Now, a lot of people travel with no cash on them. It's easier. It's more efficient. Even if you lose your credit card, you can always block it. You can always probably undo transactions, some transactions. Uh, but it's also very important to ask if they actually accept credit cards in the place where you are going to. And in Poland, I think most places does, or I guess almost all places does. Uh, but it's also uh, a good practice to, to just ask about it. And if you want to say, do you take credit card? Do you take credit card? In Polish would be, czy akceptują państwo karty kredytowe? Czy akceptują państwo karty kredytowe? Czy akceptują państwo karty kredytowe? Do you take credit card? Przepraszam, gdzie jest stacja kolejowa? Excuse me, where is the train station? And if you are walking around the street and you want to find the train station, let's say, or anything else, you can use the same sentence actually to anything else. Uh, you can stop somebody saying przepraszam, which is something like excuse me, and then adding gdzie jest stacja kolejowa? Przepraszam, gdzie jest stacja kolejowa? Which in English would mean excuse me, where is the train station? Przepraszam, gdzie jest stacja kolejowa? Excuse me, where is the train station? Przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet? Excuse me, how much is the ticket? So you just say, excuse me, how much is the ticket? In Polish you would say, przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet? Przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet? Excuse me, how much is the ticket? And of course, uh, it can be an entrance ticket as well, or um, a train ticket. And if it's a train ticket from place A to place B, uh, you can ask, przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet do? and then add the name of your destination. For example, przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet do Krakowa? Przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet do Warszawy? Przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet do Opola? Przepraszam, ile kosztuje bilet do Wrocławia? And so on and so on. Czy mógłby pan zrobić mi zdjęcie? Could you take a picture of me, please? Traveling alone is a great thing, but if you want to take a picture, well, you can take a selfie and you can use a selfie stick, but it's not always so great. So sometimes it's better to just stop somebody and ask, could you take a picture of me, please? Which in Polish you would say, czy mógłby pan zrobić mi zdjęcie? Czy mógłby pan zrobić mi zdjęcie? If the person you ask is a guy. But if it's a girl, you would say, czy mogłaby pani zrobić mi zdjęcie? Czy mogłaby Pani zrobić mi zdjęcie? Czy ten autobus jedzie na lotnisko? Is this the right bus for the airport? Now imagine you are going to the airport and you see a bus, but you are not sure if it's going to the airport. So what would you ask in Polish? Czy ten autobus jedzie na lotnisko? Czy ten autobus jedzie na lotnisko? Is this the right bus for the airport? Czy ten autobus jedzie na lotnisko? And I guess most people will be more than happy uh, to help you. Czy ten autobus jedzie na lotnisko? Is this the right bus to the airport? Want to speak real Polish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at polishpod101.com. 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. So let's go! Dziękuję, ale nie jestem Polakiem. Thank you, but I'm not Polish. Dziękuję, ale nie jestem Polakiem. Thank you, but I'm not Polish. So, I guess after long years of studying Polish, somebody can mistake you for an actual Polish person and then you can say, oh, no, no, thank you, I'm, I'm, I'm flattered, but I'm not Polish. Dziękuję, ale nie jestem Polakiem. Nauczyłem się mówić płynnie w ciągu zaledwie roku. It took me only a year to become fluent. Nauczyłem się mówić płynnie w ciągu zaledwie roku. Nauczyłem się mówić płynnie w ciągu zaledwie roku. It took me only a year to become fluent. Nauczyłem się mówić płynnie w ciągu zaledwie roku. And if you are a girl, you want to change this nauczyłem się into nauczyłam się. 
nauczyłam się mówić płynnie w ciągu zaledwie roku. Będę mówił po polsku jak Polak w trzy lata. I will speak Polish like a Polish person in three years. Będę mówił po polsku jak Polak w trzy lata. I will speak Polish like a Polish person in three years. That can be a goal, goal for you to achieve and kind of something you can do. So, please try. Good luck. Powodzenia. Uczyłem się polskiego przez 10 lat. I've been learning Polish for 10 years. Another thing that will leave people impressed is saying that you've been learning Polish for a very, very long time. And you can say, uczyłem się polskiego przez 10 lat. I've been learning Polish for 10 years. And remember, if you are a girl, you want to change uczyłem się into uczyłam się. Mogę oglądać polskie filmy bez napisów. I can watch Polish movies without subtitles. Mogę oglądać polskie filmy bez napisów. I can watch Polish movie without subtitles. This is something that would really impress people and I guess you can, you can achieve it by watching a lot of movies and then uh, studying Polish with polishpod101.com. These two methods combined will lead you to success. Potrafię zapamiętać około 50 nowych polskich słów dziennie. I can memorize around 50 new Polish words a day. Potrafię zapamiętać około 50 nowych polskich słów dziennie. I can memorize around 50 new Polish words a day. That's a kind of achievement, yet, think about it, it's not very difficult to do. So if you try to study with like flashcards from polishpod101.com, uh, you can actually may be able to do it in a very, very short time. Go to up to like 50 words because words are very similar and there are the parts that you already know and that kind of helps you memorize. So be sure to think about it whenever you're learning a new word. Polski jest fajny i prosty w nauce. Polish is fun and easy to learn. I guess a lot of native speakers uh, think that um, Polish is very difficult and at this, so you can amaze them by saying Polski jest fajny i prosty w nauce. Polski jest fajny i prosty w nauce. Polish is fun and easy to learn. Well, I would be amazed if somebody told me that. So please try it out on your Polish friends. Mówię nie tylko po polsku, ale jeszcze w kilku innych językach. Apart from knowing Polish, I can speak a few other languages as well. Another thing that many people find amazing is if you can speak not only Polish, but other languages as well. So in that case, you can say Mówię nie tylko po polsku, ale jeszcze w kilku innych językach. Apart from knowing Polish, I can speak few other languages as well. That's definitely something to amaze your friends. Uczę się polskiego samodzielnie. I'm learning Polish all by myself. Uczę się polskiego samodzielnie. Uczę się polskiego samodzielnie. Which means, I'm learning Polish by myself. I'm learning Polish by myself. Polish is a very difficult language to learn, so learning it by yourself is actually very difficult. It requires some time, it requires effort. Um, yet, if you can do it, that's really amazing. Go for it. Nie mam najmniejszych problemów z polską ortografią. I have no problems with Polish orthography. So what is the most difficult part in studying Polish? Well, somebody would say it's an aspect, but um, I guess there is another part that's very difficult and it's orthography. And actually, orthography is difficult no, not only to foreigners, it's very difficult to Polish people as well. And we got a lot of people, not even our president can spell some words, so... <laughs> Please watch news for that one. So, if you want to impress somebody, you can say Nie mam najmniejszych problemów z polską ortografią. Which means, I have no problems with Polish orthography. That's actually cool. I do have problems with Polish orthography. So I would be impressed. Up 10 phrases you will need for a day. So let's begin. Pójdziesz ze mną na obiad? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? So actually, if you say it like this, pójdziesz ze mną na obiad, it can mean both lunch and a dinner, because we still kind of um, live in this culture when dinner was actually lunch and then supper was something like a dinner right now. But I guess if we are talking about a romantic uh, dinner, then everybody will just know it's, it's we are talking about dinner, dinner or, or supper, not lunch. Um, 
And there's plenty of nice places you can take uh, your loved one in Warsaw and not only in Warsaw. Plenty of nice coffee shops, plenty of nice restaurants, romantic restaurants. So be sure to try it out when you are in Poland. And then, if you are preparing for a romantic weekend, you can ask Masz wolne w ten weekend? Are you free this weekend? There is plenty of places you can take your loved one on the weekend for one or for two days trip. You can go to Krakow, you can go to Zakopane, to the mountains. Now, uh, if you're a guy and you want to just ask your friend, your lady friend out, uh, you can ask Chciałabyś gdzieś ze mną pójść? Would you like to hang out with me? So, be careful because this one may sound really weird if you do it in this weird voice, like, would you like to hang out with me somewhere? But if you just want to leave the decision on when or where to go uh, to your friend, then then yes, then or to your loved one, then chciałabyś gdzieś ze mną pójść, by just saying gdzieś, somewhere, uh, you are not pushing anything on, on her, you just let her decide where uh, she want to go. Now, if there are any ladies watching us, uh, if you want to say to your loved one that you are so cute uh, and so nice as well, because both of those meanings are in the sentence, you can just say, Jesteś taki słodki. You are so cute. So if your boyfriend brings you flowers or chocolate or, or anything else, or does something very nice for you, you can just say, Jesteś taki słodki. Now, if a guy wants to say something like that to a girl, well, you can say jesteś taka słodka, which just change słodki to słodka. Um, but that would be uh, like saying you are so cute and nice and thank you for doing this for me. And if you just want to say that she's cute, like looks cute, I would just say śliczna, śliczna, jesteś taka śliczna. And of course there is masculine form, śliczny, but you wouldn't say that to a guy. Cute to a guy? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wyglądasz świetnie. You look great. Be sure to say that a lot to your girlfriend or to your boyfriend as well, because uh, many of Polish guys, they just don't. And then at the end of this beautiful night, you can just say, to był wspaniały wieczór. That was a great evening. So when you say bye-bye to your boyfriend or bye-bye to your girlfriend and you just want to say how much you appreciate the time they spend with you, you can say, to był wspaniały wieczór. Now, when you met this nice girl or this nice guy and you exchange your cell phone numbers, you can always say, when you say bye-bye, zadzwonię do ciebie, I will call you, zadzwonię do ciebie, and if you are a guy, be sure to do that first, because Polish ladies, they will be probably waiting and they will not call you unless you do it first. Now, if you are a gentleman and you want to offer um, your lady that you will drive her back home, you can say, Odwiozę cię do domu. I will drive you home. I will drive you home. Odwiozę cię do domu can mean that this person will literally drive you home or that he or she will just drive home with you on a bus or train or anything just because you are too drunk or, or just because he feels like it's not safe, it's very late, and he just prefers to go with you, which is a pretty nice thing to do. Also, it's very important when you set the date um, to set the time as well, so you can ask, o której się spotykamy? What time shall we meet tomorrow? I know that time is a very different thing in different cultures. Uh, someone will be just five minutes before the time, while somebody like someone else will be one hour past the time or one hour late. In Poland, in general, I think most people will be on time. If they will be late more than five minutes, they will call you. If you are waiting for your boyfriend or girlfriend and it's been already 30 minutes well there is something wrong probably <laughs> and if you had this great date with somebody you met for the first time you can ask 
Mogę Cię znów zobaczyć? Can I see you again? And it's, it is a sentence which you can use if you're a girl or if you're a guy, doesn't matter. Mogę Cię znów zobaczyć? Very nice thing to do. If you liked somebody and you think that the things just clicked, why not try again? Ten questions you should know in Polish. So let's start. Jak się nazywasz? What's your name? Jak się nazywasz? What is your name? So if you meet somebody and you ask this person, jak się nazywasz? You may hear an answer like, nazywam się Ania. My name is Ania. Ania is actually a pretty common name in Poland. Or nazywam się Marzena. My name is Marzena. Jak się masz? How are you? Jak się masz means how are you? And you may hear an answer like dobrze, which means good, but actually probably more often you will hear a very, very long answer and it won't be good because in Poland it is not so common to ask, you know, jak się masz. You, you, you do ask that, but you ask that only, you know, people you are very close friends with and you kind of need to expect a longer answer and, and that people will actually tell you the truth about their life and what wrong happened in it. And it, it's usually wrong because Polish people love complaining. So be careful with this one. If you don't have time for a longer talk, just don't ask it. Skąd jesteś? Where are you from? Skąd jesteś? Where are you from? So you may hear this question if somebody notices that you are not from Poland. And for example, if you are from America, you can answer z Ameryki, from America. So basically you just put z and then the country. Kiedy masz urodziny? When is your birthday? And if you make new friends, you may hear a question like Kiedy masz urodziny? Which means when is your birthday? And a good answer for that would be just giving, you know, the month and day. You don't have to answer in a whole sentence. So you can say, for example, Usmego Lutego. Usmego Lutego, which is February 8th. This is actually my birthday. Gdzie <laughs> mieszkasz? Where do you live? Another question you may hear is Gdzie mieszkasz? Gdzie mieszkasz? Gdzie mieszkasz means where do you live? And when you can answer like in details, telling the street, saying the street and everything else, or you can just, you know, say mieszkam w Krakowie, which means I live in Krakow. Gdzie pracujesz? Where do you work? Another one, another question you, you may hear in Poland is gdzie pracujesz? Where do you work? And it can be about the place or, or it can be about the company. So, for example, if you don't want to say the company or you are like, you know, reluctant, you just want to say, okay, I work in Krakow, you say, pracuję w Krakowie. If you want to say the company, on the other hand, you can just say, pracuję w and change Krakowie, Krakow, to the name of a company. Jaki jest twój numer telefonu? What's your phone number? <laughs> if somebody likes you really much, then they may ask about your phone number, saying, Jaki jest twój numer telefonu? What is your phone number? So you can answer that saying, Mój numer telefonu to 693 408 896, which means my number is 6934088896 Just um, notice that in Polish we usually break it into like groups of three and we say not 693 we say 693 which is 693 Gdzie się nauczyłeś polskiego? Where did you learn Polish? Now, because studying Polish, it's not so common and you don't actually learn it at school in a lot of countries, you may hear a question, Gdzie nauczyłeś się polskiego? Where did you learn Polish? Well, you can answer, for example, w szkole językowej, which means in language school. Czy lubisz polskie jedzenie? Do you like Polish food? Another question you may hear as a foreigner is, of course, 
do you like Polish food? Which in Polish is Czy lubisz polskie jedzenie? Czy lubisz polskie jedzenie? You know, you can answer whatever you want, like if you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, don't, don't feel, you know, like embarrassed and, and just say it straight because people will just feed you with Polish food that you don't like. But if you like it, you can say uwielbiam, which means I love it. Kiedy przyjechałeś do Polski? When did you come to Poland? Now, once you come to Poland and you start living there, you will probably hear this one a lot. <laughs> Kiedy przyjechałeś do Polski? When did you come to Poland? So, if it's like for you three years, you can say Przyjechałem do Polski trzy lata temu. I came to Poland three years ago. Ten phrases you always want to hear in Polish. Świetnie dzisiaj wyglądasz. You look great today. So, the first one is Świetnie dzisiaj wyglądasz. You look great today. So that's a good one. You can say it to your friends. You can, you can say it to somebody from your family. You wouldn't say it to a person you don't know, like, you know, random person on the street, which you do in some other countries. But everybody will feel better with this one. Świetnie dzisiaj wyglądasz. You look great today. Tęsknię za tobą. I miss you. Tęsknię za tobą. Tęsknię za tobą means I miss you. So, this is something you would say to a person close to you, to somebody from your family. Well, somebody, you know, you don't have to address as a sir or ma'am. You can write it to a person you love, for example, or to your mom, to your dad. Wykonałeś świetną robotę. You did a great job. Wykonałeś świetną robotę. You did a great job. Um, this is a phrase, I guess, um, that you will hear at a company. Maybe your boss will tell you that, or your supervisor, or maybe your teacher even. But somebody you know who is above you and you will, he will prize you for whatever you've done. Dostaniesz premię na koniec miesiąca. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Dostaniesz premię na koniec miesiąca. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Well, um... I guess bonuses in Poland right now are, are quite common. It, it wasn't like this 20 years ago. But right now in a lot of companies, you know, they, they want to make people like, uh, they want to, you know, people to work better. They want people to try. So there is a the system of bonuses in most of the companies in Poland right now. So you may actually hear this one if you work well. Dobrze gotujesz. You're an excellent cook. Dobrze gotujesz. Dobrze gotujesz means you are an excellent cook. And this is very important uh, in Poland especially. We do love food and we do love, you know, our home-made food. So whenever you want to marry in the Polish family, be sure to be a good cook. And we do cook a lot. We do cook a lot in Poland. We, we don't really go out, eating out. Uh, so phrase like, you know, dobrze gotujesz, it's a... It's a compliment and a very, very good one. Odpocznij sobie. Dzisiaj ja posprzątam. Take a break. I will do the cleaning today. Odpocznij sobie. Dzisiaj ja posprzątam. Take a break. I will do the cleaning today. <laughs> That's something I would love to hear. <laughs> we do, you know, like, there is this whole schedule to Polish week and because a lot of people still go to church in, in, on Sunday, and they don't work on Sunday. We usually do our cleaning on Saturday. It's like, I guess, in a lot of other families, both the wife and the husband, they both, you know, engage in the cleaning uh, process and they both try to, you know, like, clean the house. And then on Sunday, they both usually rest and start work from Monday to Friday. Wygrałeś and you win. Wygrałeś and you win. We've got this very popular lottery in Poland. It's called Totolotek. And you can buy it almost everywhere. Those, those small kiosks uh, where, where they sell it. And uh, I guess a lot of people try to, you know, try their luck. And I guess, you know, I would be super happy if I won like one million zloty, which I never did. I guess at the most I won was 200 zloty, which is like still $50, $60 maybe. Pretty good. Miałeś rację. You were right. Miałeś rację. 
you were right. It's difficult to say <laughs> that somebody else was right. And I guess, you know, like girls in Poland would, would admit it, like, you know, oh, you were right. But guys are so proud, you know, and I don't think they will do that. I, I don't think guys uh, say that a lot. <laughs> Przyniosłem ci coś specjalnego. I brought you something special. Przyniosłem ci coś specjalnego. I brought you something special. And this something special can be a piece of cake, wonderful Polish serving, cheesecake, uh, or like a flower or two. Budżet jest nieograniczony. The budget is unlimited. Okay, so the next one is budżet jest nieograniczony, which basically means the budget is unlimited. I don't think you will ever hear it in a Polish company, but if so, that's definitely something that will make you happy.